fight continues, okay, as does the crowd filing through the doors here at the Sydney Entertainment Centre. The bottom tier, all but full, so to the ground. And in action at the moment, Shane Cameron, Dominic Vey for the Cruiserweight title. It is Cameron in the white, Vey, the champion in the black. 29th pro fight for Shane Cameron, 26 wins, 20 via knockout. Now for minute into round number five. Oh, Vey with the straight punches, but it was a good left. Around the corner from the Kiwi. Now the guy's been hard to find, have they? They're both sort yeah. of front and centre. That's it. They could do it in a phone box the Fox if they needed to. <laughs> Doubling up the left hand, Vey. That short punching seems to be where Dominic has an advantage, getting called on by the Kiwi. It's rock back. We know Cameron's got that late fight punching power. Going back to that eighth round knockout of Bobby Mirovic. Seventh round knockout of Jonathan Hagler. And there's that left, just pushing it out, doubling it up. Setting things up very well with that jab. That's where it all comes from, isn't it, Daniel? That's the, right. The, the body shots and the, the big power punches, they look great and they're damaging, but it all starts with the first thing you, you probably learnt when you stepped into a gym, the left jab. That's it. A lot of it doesn't land unless you use the jab to start things off. Changing levels there, Cameron. Exactly what Dan Gill said earlier. Difficult to do at the start of a fight, but as you get a little bit more confident and you establish your range and your rhythm, you are able to change levels. Again, Cameron going down low, starting high. And what it does as well, it, it later on in the fight, it, it gets the guy's arms to drop a little bit. As soon as the arms start to drop, you can go over the top. The Vay supporters making a little noise here in the final minute of round number five. Like what they saw with a combination. Three ringside judges for this, Gary Dean, Anthony Shipley and Les Fear. Oh, Vey walks into a couple. Good shots from Cameron, who again changed levels. Digging in. Right on, boys. Work out of that. Brains out of the boxing alley in Auckland, New Zealand. Clive, Cleve Langdon and Kenny Rensfeld. Also Barry Michael, the former world champion, in that man's corner. And a little bit of claret over the left eye of Shane Cameron. I think he's cut in a reasonably dangerous position. Antonio Tava, the magic man, is in the house. Relaxed, cool as the other side of your pillow. And heading to his dressing room, past the Danny Green dressing room. You won't hear a lot of noise coming out of Team Green Machine. They are focused. Not this, not this, not this. Not this one, that's Danny's one. Go ahead, go ahead. Next one, next one, make a right. Antonio will get changed in the broom club closet if he has to. He doesn't seem to care. <laughs> nice and relaxed. <laughs> Bell Sounds, round number six for the Commonwealth Cruiserweight title. 15 minutes of action so far. And uh, a feeling our process, it has been. Both guys with the knockout power, massive tickers and good chins. Doubling up that left hand, he's got nice skills for a big man, Shane Cameron. Good straight right hand from Dominic Vey through and a left hand again. He's trying to break down the Mountain Warrior here. You fire off jabs at the same time. Whoever's got the longer reach normally wins that. 
There hasn't been that one big shot yet, Dan, that has forced one of the two guys to say, okay, well, I'm gonna, if I'm going to throw punches, I'm not going to stand here any longer. Just waiting for that one telling shot. So it's probably, probably smart tactics from Cameron too because they, they know, you know Dominic Vey can take a, a massive shot. So uh, the more punches you can land is probably the, the better thing rather than going for that big one punch. Okay, break. Step 90 break, seconds down, Step 90 break. seconds remain, round number six. Our referee here, Charlie Lucas, hasn't had a great deal to do. The boys haven't been tangled, haven't been naughty, haven't been dirty. Fought in great spirit. Gee, it's been busy for big boys, hasn't it, too? Yeah, plenty of punches. It's good to see. Shows the depth in the, the cruiserweights in Australia. Yep. Last out, Shane Cameron went the distance all 12 rounds with Anthony McCracken on the Danny Green. BJ Flores undercard. That was November, and here we go. Opening up a little. Cameron strikes a few times, and Vey responds in kind with his best flurry of the night. Now, this is a little more of what we were expecting. Blocking the head back there of Vey, that stiff lead jab. Shane Cameron, whose head gets rocked himself. Out of that, boys. Work out of it. So there'll be a couple of big shots going out now. And after 18 minutes, both guys are going to go back to their corner and think, well, that wasn't too bad. Six rounds down, but I'm not looking forward to the next six. <laughs> to the body, Cameron. Break. Step back, don't punch. Step back. Let him go. Step back, don't punch. OK, box. No chance to re-engage as the bell sounds. This is where corner work absolutely crucial as fatigue has set in. Antonio Tarver in the building. Ben Damon caught up with him. Antonio, not long now, mate, before you get in the ring and fight Danny Green. How are you feeling? I'm feeling real good, you know, uh, confident. Uh, we put in the work and now we just got to go out and execute, you know. Um, just try to stay, you know, sharp and relaxed and let them go. You've been saying through the uh, preparation for this fight that they've got the wrong man here. Do you think they've underestimated you? I wouldn't say underestimated, but, you know, uh, I don't think they uh, prepare for what's going to happen tonight. I feel real good. I'm going to let my hands go. I'm going to be busy in there, and uh, I'm just going to fight my fight. You know, I'm not going to worry about anything, and at the end of the day, you know, uh, I'm going to say that I did everything I, I said I was going to do. And we should expect some magic from the magic man? Most definitely. Yeah, I feel... Uh, a major trick coming on tonight. Thank you very much and uh, good luck tonight. Thank you, appreciate it. Wow, we get to speak to multi-time world champion. An hour before he steps into the ring to challenge for his fifth world title. Shane Cameron, Dominic Vey are doing it for the Commonwealth Cruiserweight title. Cameron in the white is the challenger. Vey in the black is the champion. And business certainly picked up in round number six. This is the second half of the fight. It actually seems like a long time to all rounds, but when you're in there, it does go very fast. Oh, good right hand from Cameron. It was after that cruiserweight knockout that he believes he still possesses after so many great KOs in the heavyweight division. Fighting from the ropes and his heels, Dominic Vey again, nicely turned and got out of there. Strikes quickly and that right hand down of Shane Cameron is allowing the left hand of Dominic Vey a little bit of a direct route to the target zone. Okay, Cameron's mouth is busted up, blood flowing from that. Nicely turned from Vey. Walks into one there. Both fire off the left at the same time. Cameron marked up under the left eye now. Sign that Dominic's right's finding the target. 
Are you noticing things like that during a fight? Where and how and how badly your opponent's marked up? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's almost a subconscious thing, though. Yep. Um, I don't really. You don't really actually. You don't have enough time to think about those no. those little things. But you are noticing all that stuff, and uh, yeah, you notice when you you just about to get him out there. Oh, fire oh. by the body shot. Look at these from Shane Cameron. Vegas walks in, pushes him off. Oh. If you haven't been to a fight, you've got to get ringside because these shots are echoing around the Sydney Entertainment Centre. In fact, surrounding suburbs are on high alert as well. They are big body shots and they hurt. I'm sitting right in front of them and uh, I'll tell you what, I can feel them. And all boys, out of that. Working from the inside. Vay with that snap back in his hands. To the corners we go. Seven rounds down, five rounds remaining. Plenty of industry folk sitting ringside here. A couple of national champions in the crowd. Shannon Taylor and Mark Pajero. That's the brawn. We'd rather focus on the beauty. Here on Main Event Boxing, the lovely Lauren Eagle. Here enjoying the action. Big Bobby Mirovic in the house, the three-time national champion. Ah, oh, still got it, Bear, still got it. Really Round number eight coming your way live on Main Event Boxing. Up next uh, for Ben Rabar, Isaac Latuayo for the vacant IBF Australasian welterweight title. And then the main event, Antonio Tava, Danny Green. IBO Cruiserweight Championship of the World. I want those bottles off there. Sitting with the IBF middleweight champ, Daniel Gill, in commentary with us. Former IBF champ Barry Michael was filling the seat earlier, but is in the corner now with Hello, boys. Work out of it. Shane Cameron in the white trunks here. Oh, Vay throwing more punches, throwing better punches, and scoring Dominic. Good way to start round number eight. I think Vay needs to start picking up his points too, and I, I think that's what his corner must have said. Daniel, win, lose, or draw, are you conscious throughout the fight and when you get back to the corner of how you realistically think you're doing on the judges' scorecards, or when you get back to the corner, do you always think you're winning? <laughs> no, you, you know, you know, deep down, you know, uh, yeah, yeah how, how well you're going. You know, if you're landing more punches than, than you're taking, and. Uh, and by the end of the fight, you've got a you got a fair idea. Great boys, step back. Keep the three on the top. Keep the three on. Three on. Three on. Three on. There. That's it. Right hand up. Go after that. Cameron going in, but not going in with, I guess the the commitment to that combination that they'd like to see out of the red corner. Look at the stance here of Vay. This is eight rounds in, and the hands are high. The chin is down. Legs nice. Walking into a few here, but taking most on the shoulder, on the forearms, on the hands. Final minute, round number eight. Twelve months out of the ring for Dominic Vay. Former Danny Green sparring partner. One of Dominic's broken noses, courtesy of the green machine. Great. Step back down, punch. Okay, Bob. Crunch into the body again. Against the ropes. And this is where, again, Vay 
with these short punches, and he's got Cameron in a bit of trouble here. Push back Shane Cameron. Can Dominic Vey with 17 seconds remaining in the round rock the big Kiwi again? We're going to the stools at the end of eight. Hello, boys. Work out of it. Oh, Shane Cameron, he is cut up and bashed up over that left eye and under, as a matter of fact. Beautiful, beautiful work, mate. That's it. We're going to have to dig deep in, mate. This is what champions are made of, okay? You're going to be, you're going to show them what a super smart we are now, okay? We're going to start letting the hands go nice and relaxed and we're going to find simple one twos, okay? Simple one twos. But while you're setting them up, really, really keep that headshot so you don't get caught with anything, okay? There's a few times there we're getting a bit too sloppy. I don't want to get. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from. Round number eight. Gee, Vay's good with those short punches and getting himself out of trouble, isn't he? Yeah, he's definitely getting hit by the, the bigger, clearer punches, but those, those little inside shots, they definitely hurt Cameron. 